Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of days trading, Tuesday, the 12th of July 2016. Please do uh, visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the uh, markets today, end of day market analysis data. Let's just uh, have a look here in terms of the uh, uh, UK, uh, certainly finished negative, uh, down two points. The uh, DAX certainly finished up 1.3%. European banks certainly leading the revival post Renzi and Merkel comments with regards to a, uh, with regards to uh, the banking crisis uh, and certainly not being as bad as everybody expected. Okay, so all those factors coming into play. The French CAC down 1.6%, Euro stocks, sorry, up 1.6%. That was on the back of Asian markets over, overnight as well. You had the Shanghai up 1.8, the Hang Seng up 1.6, and the Nikkei up 2.46%. So certainly an impressive move there. You've certainly had a bounce in oil as well, up to 46 now. Copper certainly moving higher as well. But a lot of that really is all factored into the market already. Okay, in terms of uh, economic news events, realistically, it's all about Mr. Abe's QE. Uh, really, in Mr. Bernanke, obviously, coming together. You have uh, CPI or inflation data out in the uh, from Germany this morning, certainly coming in line. Not certainly not no signs of weakness there at all, really, uh, and certainly helping the euro move higher to a large extent. Mr. Carney's speech really was mm, not really market moving. Uh, inflation hearings as well, nothing really major that force the um, the actual uh, FTSE uh, in either direction uh, business optimism in the U US certainly come, came in stronger than expected the uh, red book uh, index came in stronger although we had jolt openings and wholesale inventories coming in on the weaker side okay and then we have mr. Torolo Bullard and then we have two more of Fed speakers certainly on the docket now in terms of market moves oh yes the FTSE certainly uh, certainly uh, initially weak and then obviously found for strength were due to copper and oil okay and now certainly coming into resistance so let's look at the actual technical picture now and see exactly where european stocks are again the the the, the move really was led by banking sector so if i just bring up the banking stocks for you okay so if you look at the FTSE banking sector certainly moving higher on the 60 minute chart let's bring up the european Oil and gas and banks. Okay, so you can certainly see there the uh, daily chart, the banking sector certainly pushing higher now, coming into previous support equals resistance. So certainly coming into a potential resistance zone now on the banking stocks. Uh, and certainly the whole move really has been banking related. So given the fact that the uh, European banks certainly are higher, are now into resistance though, if I bring up the Italian banking sector as well, if I have that here, I don't think I will. Yes, I do. There we go. Okay, so Italian banking stocks certainly pushing off the lows and certainly alleviating concerns to a large extent, although it is now coming into a previous support equals resistance, and therefore you are looking for a potential move lower. So bear that in mind. Okay, so that certainly is a picture. That's what we're expecting now, okay, in terms of the potential market moves. Now, the European 350 itself certainly has bounced now from the pivot high to low. You are into the FIB 61%. So watch out for that potential resistance zone. You have previous support equals resistance here in this zone. Okay, so certainly expecting weakness. The German DAX at the moment at this current juncture. Let's just bring up the German DAX now. The daily chart, the German DAX, uh, we were attempting to um, target the uh, 10,000 level. Okay, the pivot high, I think, for the day was just above 10,000. We certainly did trigger a few stops above there. So you're into that FIB 61 to 75% resistance with that uh, 200 MA just above. Uh, the gap or the Brexit gap certainly has been closed now, well, almost closed, almost 75% closed now. So again, certainly take that into consideration as well. You certainly have resistance at this 10.040 zone, okay? So as soon as you get above 10,000, you're certainly coming into turbulence and you're looking at weakness, okay? In terms of the, the German DAX. Now, we failed to make a higher high, okay? So again, looking for lower highs and therefore looking for potential gap fill and uh, a retest below. So certainly looking for weakness in European equities based on my uh, understanding, given the fact that the banking sector certainly is into resistance now. The MDAX as well, certainly finding a, a struggle to make a new high, okay? Still, the unfilled gap remains open, so again, take that into consideration. And your um, retracement from the pivot high to the pivot low 
you are into that Fib 6, 61 to 75 percent. So again, we'll act as resistance. So bear that in mind. Okay. In terms of the all share for uh, the tech all share, indicating to you that along with the Nasdaq, you're certainly into resistance. You're certainly expecting turbulence here, and you are looking for weakness. So bear that in mind. Okay. In terms of the French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC. Okay, French CAC, no higher highs. Still struggling to make a higher high. A 60 minute chart into pivot R3. You have horizontal resistance in this zone here on the 4360 zone. Okay, so watch out for that potential zone, folks. Okay, 4360 zone. Okay. So again, watch out for that uh, potential zone. Okay, so you're certainly finding resistance here. At 4340 or 4343, so these are all the zones that you're going to be finding resistance. 60 minute chart as well on the French CAC, certainly into resistance. Daily chart on the French CAC again into resistance, and that's confirmed by the uh, CAC mid and small. So you've got the CAC mid and small, which is at Fib 75 percent. So you've got 200 MA uh, into uh, resistance, so the 200 MA certainly held, and the CAC mid 60 as well, topping tail held resistance. So both indicating resistance, both indicating a potential move low. Okay, so French uh, CAC certainly into resistance. Also, the volatility index as well. If you bring up the daily chart of the French volatility index, you can see that we put in a potential bottoming tail today. So the uh, sell-off certainly has uh, lost its steam, and uh, the bulls certainly are attempting to fight back with fear now on the increase. And you are looking at a potential uh, top in the French CAC. Okay, so certainly watch out for resistance there. Okay, in terms of the uh, FTSE 100, let's just bring up the FTSE 100. Uh, uh, certainly going into the close, you had a potential H&S formation. So I'm certainly short the FTSE from the uh, 6680 uh, zone, if I can recollect. Okay, so certainly looking for weakness on this H&S. Stop losses at 6, 7, 10, so above the, uh, above the, above the head of this H&S and certainly looking for weakness here. 60 minute chart as well, certainly exhaustion coming to potentially retest this breakout around the 6600 zone and then we'll see exactly how the market responds there daily chart certainly putting a doji today okay so the bears certainly fighting back here okay and the weekly chart sh certainly shows you on the footsie that you are now coming into a key resistance zone where previous support equals resistance and that certainly is going to hold the reason why the footsie certainly has had a late surge is due to oil uh, we certainly have bounced off oil so impressive move on oil uh, even though the opec report did say Concerned with regards to Brexit, etc., it certainly has focused on the uh, OPEC demand being increased. And as you can see here, we've certainly pushed higher. So, taking the pivot high to pivot low, you are into that Fib 61% resistance. So, again, you are coming into resistance now on oil and therefore looking for a potential move lower. So, all eyes on that. Now, you, you did have job, ob, or job, job, or, or job openings certainly coming in weaker, wholesale inventories weaker. So, Everything really dictating a potential move lower, okay? Certainly indicating a potential move lower, okay? So certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay, that's your crude oil. Now, the FTSE 250 as well, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100, the daily chart of the FTSE 250 has a topping tail at that FIB 75%. So again, that certainly is going to act as resistance as well. Okay, so watch out for that uh, potential resistance at Fib 75%. Looking for a topping tail and then obviously uh, looking for a move lower. So the FTSE 250 certainly indicating resistance and looking for a move lower. Uh, the commodity index at the moment, um, certainly from my perspective at the moment, certainly does still remain weak. Okay, let's just look at a small time frame, not really showing me anything at the moment. 60 the daily chart really still you're still looking for lower highs or a bear flag scenario looking for potential gaps to close below so certainly watch out for that in terms of the aussie usd aussie usd now coming into resistance as you can see here that double top resistance and therefore aussie is into resistance you're looking at uh, weakness in the kiwi as well same thing with here with the scenario here you're looking at resistance on the kiwi so again kiwi itself has hit a pivot low 7280 Got certainly pushing back higher now, but you are looking for weakness here as well. Okay, so again, watch out for that. Copper certainly has had a surge. Now, I'm not sure whether that's due to this China Sea incident, South Sea incident again, uh, or whether it's organic growth. Certainly not organic growth because job, ob, job opening certainly came in weaker. So, not too sure whether that's due to uh, a lack of uh, supply concerns, etc., or if it's actually organic growth. So, again, 
this is quite interesting i'm going to keep an eye on this but there was a comment with regards to the south china sea okay so uh depositories there potentially being uh, being made vulnerable and therefore obviously moving higher base and i'm not sure okay but for now you have to respect copper copper is always a good indicator dr copper gives you the strength of the economy and you can certainly see that we were certainly pushing higher base on risk i mean the economy certainly isn't uh, as strong uh, because the job, all job opening certainly came in weaker today so again going to keep an eye on that okay uh, us dollar as well bring up the chart the us dollar index for you us dollar index certainly has pushed higher now starting to retrace so again take that into consideration from my perspective i was ex uh, expecting given brexit concerns and obviously us jobs data on friday certainly and given the fact that the fed speakers certainly are on the hawkish side given the fact that equity markets are all-time highs they can certainly afford to start potentially tightening so again certainly take that into consideration so looking for a potential move higher although having said that we have got the on-fill gap below as well so certainly looking to juggle those positions okay right okay i think that's a market wrap folks be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25 percent cash bonus offer goodbye now.